President Trump recovering from coronavirus, ready to hit the campaign trail, telling Hannity on Fox News. I think I'm going to try doing a rally on Saturday night. If we can, if we have enough time to put it together, but we want to do a rally in Florida, probably in Florida on Saturday night. Might come back and do one in Pennsylvania in uh, the following night. Trump says he expects to be tested for COVID-19 again today. Meanwhile, 35 states are reporting a rise in COVID hospitalizations. Health and Human Services saying the national test positivity rate rose to 5.7 percent from 4.5 percent in week-to-week comparisons. Agents say they foiled a stunning plot by an anti-government group to kidnap Michigan Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer, Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel. Who's also to take over the state legislature uh, and to potentially commit uh, mass murder there, uh, as well as to execute members of law enforcement and other public officials. So there, are, this is a multi-pronged plot. At least 13 men charged. The 2020 Nobel Peace Prize has been awarded to the United Nations World Food Program. Dave Packer, ABC News. The Michigan News Network. I'm Beth Fisher. Federal officials say they foiled a plot to kidnap Governor Whitmer and overturn the state government. U.S. Attorney Andrew Burge says the plan involved targeting the governor at her vacation home up north, blowing up a bridge to distract the police. The FBI and Michigan State Police arrested six individuals charged in a federal complaint with conspiring to kidnap the governor of Michigan, Gretchen Whitmer. Burge says the group conducted firearms training and other tactical drills, bought a powerful taser, and members were in the process of trying to buy explosives and tactical gear when they were arrested. The governor has been a frequent target of social media death threats over her strong pandemic measures since the spring. U.S. Attorney Matthew Schneider in Detroit. All of us in Michigan can disagree about politics, but those disagreements should never, ever amount to violence. Sandra McNeil, Michigan News Network. President Donald Trump says that instead of expressing thanks for federal authorities stopping the plot, Governor Whitmer called him a white supremacist. In an interview with CNN, she criticized the president for not doing enough to condemn hate groups in America. With the coronavirus pandemic, homelessness is a growing problem in Michigan and nationwide. A movie about homelessness filmed at Mel Trotter Ministries in Grand Rapids has its grand opening tomorrow. Mel Trotter spokeswoman Beth Fisher, no relation, says the film stars the son of former actor Rick Schroeder and Dean Kane. The story features Luke Schroeder, and he's playing a teenager who has a very uh, sort of elitist mindset and comes into the mission as a sentencing for something he does wrong in the community and is essentially just changed. His whole concept of what really is important in life changes as he becomes more proximate to the people inside the mission. Kane plays his father, and his views change in the film. It opens to the public on Saturday, World Homelessness Day. I'm Beth. Fisher for the Michigan News Network. The economy can't recover from COVID when crime is climbing. Gun violence is on the rise. And Democrats want to defund the police? The Lansing City Council member is pushing to defund the police department. Democrats defund the police plans are dangerous. And Democrats really do mean dismantle the police. But we need to completely dismantle the Minneapolis Police Department. I just don't trust the Democrats on this. Republicans understand we need to be safe from COVID and crime. John James knows we need to reopen the economy safely. People needed were jobs. People needed the opportunity to excel. John James knows the economy can't recover from COVID when crime is out of control. We're gonna help feed the poor. We're gonna help take care of our veterans and we're gonna help cure the sick. America's PAC is responsible for the content of this advertising paid for by America's PAC and not authorized by any other candidate or committee. America's PAC 527.com. Welcome to Marwood Nursing and Rehab a place that our residents are proud to call home. From our expert rehabilitation services to our compassionate long-term nursing and memory care, Marwood has everything you need for a short or long-term stay. Quality care, exceptional services, and the highest staff-to-patient ratio in St. Clair County. Marwood is the right choice. To learn more, visit mclaren.org slash Marwood. Marwood is a subsidiary of McLaren Port Huron. From the WPHM studios in downtown Port Huron, this is WPHM News.